Hello, it's Alex and I'm here in my hallway. Now, I wasn't going to do any filming today because I thought I was only doing a couple of little jobs. I've got um, exhaust manifold gaskets I replaced. Um, I serviced her and what else have I been doing? I, I don't know, nothing exciting. But I had a problem going, going home the other day where my overdrive stopped working. And I think this is sort of a common problem on a P4. There's so many little switches in the circuit of the overdrive solenoid that it could be anything. And I thought, oh gosh, you know, where do I start? Is it gonna be the solenoid? You know, am I just gonna replace things willy nilly? Um, but I went through it all methodically today. I tried reading the workshop manual on how to test the overdrive and it baffled me and didn't make sense to me so I did it my way and I looked at the wiring diagram to see how the things wired up so I'll just show you that first right so Jesse is a 100 so this is a wiring diagram for an 80 and a 100 um, it may be slightly different on the other models but I haven't looked so this let's start here uh, okay, let's start there. Curly, curly, whirly. That's your solenoid. Okay, so it's got a live going to it, and it's just earth to the body of the gearbox. Um, obviously, uh, back in the day, Jesse was positive earth, so that was actually um, a positive feed going to the solenoid. Blah blah blah. I'm not going to complicate things too much for you. Jesse is positive earth. Uh, negative earth sorry she's been converted she's negative earth so everything on the chassis and everything is all negative uh so solenoid grounded to the gearbox itself so there's only one wire going down to it which is a it looks like purple and green um going to mine it says it's slate colored here but it looks purple and green on mine <laughs> might have been changed in the past so the wire from the solenoid goes up to the relay and the relays have all got little um, letters and numbers on so there's C1, C2, C4 no C3 which is a bit strange and then there's W1 and W2 so I started up under the bonnet looking at the relay and the fuse box um, trying to check that all this was okay. Whereas if I'd just gone straight under the car, which is what I recommend you do, because it's easy, uh, jack up the passenger side, left-hand side, look underneath and you'll find the little cylinder attached to the gearbox with a little rubber boot on it and just one wire going to it. Uh, that'll be your solenoid. So just above the solenoid, there'll be a little bullet connector so if you can get a probe in there and just see if you're getting 12 volts there, um, you know, put your one one lead of the meter onto the gearbox or something, and the other lead, if you can get it up into that bullet connector, you can then see if power's getting there. And the way you get power to go there, if all this is set up correctly, what you want to do is, um, hang on, I'll turn around and talk to you. <laughs> what you want to do is um, put your ignition on, put the car in fourth gear, put the overdrive lever down, and then under the bonnet, just grab hold of the um, accelerator linkage and pull it until you hear a click. Now you should hear a click, which will be that relay. There should be two clicks, but you'll hear the relay click, you should. Um, so at that point the overdrive is engaged so that's when I would probe the bullet connector under the car so you put the ignition on put it in fourth gear put the overdrive switch down flick the accelerator linkage if you hear a click then get under the car and probe that bullet connector just above the solenoid if you're getting battery voltage there Brilliant, that means your relay's okay, the fuse is okay, and most of the wiring is okay. 
thankfully, <laughs> in my case. If you're not getting a click from the relay itself, um, which I'll show you in a minute, then you've got other problems, which I won't go into at the moment because I didn't have these problems. But I just hope that this video is going to help you understand how this works, basically. <laughs> so I'll show you under the bonnet first. I've got Jessie jacked up, I'll just show you. I've jacked her on the uh, centrepiece here and I've got axle stands under the arms. Just to keep her safe. So, under the bonnet. We've got under here, on, on mine is this little Lucas rubber cover. Gently get that off without breaking it. A bit delicate. So this is your overdrive relay. Complicated little bugger. Uh, and it's all to do with micro switches because it's micro switches on the this is one here I'm just touching with my finger and um, there's two here they've got to be working there's an um, isolator switch on the gearbox itself and I think there's the kick down switch under the accelerator pedal as well but I say I'm not going to go too much into it so this is overdrive relay this is overdrive fuse box so if I can get that off, I might need a screwdriver. I won't bother getting it off because it's pretty simple. Under there, there's one glass fuse, 35 amp I think. One glass fuse in there. Um, so if you're not getting power over here, uh, that'll be why uh, the fuse is blown. So it's always worth just popping that cover off. You just flick this off with a screwdriver. I can't do it with my finger. Flick that off with a screwdriver and you can see the glass fuse in there just check it's okay check the wires okay the wire from this goes into a3 in this fuse box so if you take this cover off you can see the little green and white wire um or slate they call it green slate going into terminal a3 in the fuse box um so just check they're okay and then down here uh, what you'll find is with the ignition on, you'll get 12 volts here. When I say 12 volts, I mean battery voltage, so whatever your battery voltage is. Then, once you've, um, what I found, once you've then engaged overdrive, which is what I'm going to show you now. If we go through here. So I've got the car in fourth gear. I put the ignition on. I put overdrive down and then go around here and if I get you close to the relay you should hear it click so we're just going to tweak this accelerator linkage here now you might have heard a click then there was quite a loud click which was actually my solenoid working because I fixed it but before all you could hear was a faint little click from this relay And what I found, when my solenoid wasn't working, um, this wire here, C1, this one is the wire going down to the solenoid. So, once you've done all what I've just done and you hear a little click, you should get 12 volts here, battery voltage here. If you're getting that here, technically, your solenoid should work. But if your solenoid is not working, then I'll show you what to do next. So access the car under here. I haven't really jacked the car up far enough for me to see under here very well. But I managed to creep under here. Now, I've obviously got, if you can see, get my torch there a bit better. I've obviously got an oil leak going on. And I think what's happened is oil has got into the solenoid and contaminated it. So what you'll see is, uh, if I get the little rubber boot, you'll see this, there's the cylinder here. This is the solenoid and it'll have this big, I think it's a Lucas rubber boot on it. So if you take the Lucas rubber boot off, you'll then see this plastic cap this plastic cap is held on with tiny, tiny, tiny little nuts, which 
which I think I used five mil socket on those to get them off they came off easily then this little cover pulls off now you can see the wire it's a green and purple looking wire coming out of here um, and up there I hope you can see just here is the bullet connector for it and this is where I'm saying probe that and put it probe that with your positive probe and then put the negative probe onto the gearbox somewhere somewhere that's not rusty somewhere you'll get a good earth and just see if you've got battery voltage there because if you've got battery voltage there you might have this problem that I've just had I took this cover off and inside if you can see I've got this all in the way now hang on I'm trying not to ruin this wire it's a bit delicate here we are poke it for you here I'm just gonna check you can see this so I'll try and keep you still here the solenoid has a set of points <laughs> a little so-and-so's well I cleaned these points WD-40 a bit of emery cloth and now the overdrive is clicking in as it should with no problem so I hope if your overdrive's not working it's going to be something simple like this um, otherwise it will be the actual solenoid itself but thankfully for me it was just dirty points dirty contacts there we go <laughs> I really hope that if you've got an overdrive problem it's as simple as that because I I had no idea there was a set of points in there do you want, do you want to know how I found out I hit the solenoid with a hammer and then it started ticking at me frantically and I thought that sounds like points <laughs> yeah and that's when I found them so uh, I'm, I'm very happy with my discovery today I know it's not a discovery, it's a P4, but I'm very happy with it. <laughs> <sighs> right, time to put it back together now. Anyway, it's a short one for you. Thanks for watching. Bye!